Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this Sampath you are watching Sampath Sahaf X YouTube channel and this is the POCO XC custom ROM reviews I have here POCO XC Evolution X 6.5 Omega Surya 5th June 2022 and Android version is 12 based here and kernel used here is 4.14.281 DEX K kernel has been used July 1st build date you can see your build number and selling status is enforcing this is the evolution x rom flashing method is very simple just check out my previous video of any evolution x video or the yesterday i made a video on lineage OS. similarly you need to flash instead of lineage OS rom zip file you just flash this evolution x rom zip file i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 13 seconds and 9 milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 156 and average is 150 and minimum is 134 million gips and it's throttle to 95 percent of its maximum performance it means there is little bit throttle going on but if you see the graph it's kind of stable enough the rom let's check out how it is stable and one handed mode you can see here it's also working fine in this rom by the way and this is the dialer you get typical google dialer and you can see here direct video call feature is available in this rom let's make a call and see the call recording feature is also available which is working fine but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this is how the dialer you get and this is the home screen and this is the quick settings panel or the toggles whatever you call if you swipe here you get these kind of options if you go into edit section there are plenty of options you can see here mic axis i'll drag to add here camera axis add it dark theme add it sync add it these are the things you get in this particular rom just you need to have if you want anything else you can add from here just i'll come back here and again disable the sync sorry let me turn off the airplane mode you can see how quick the toggles are just press it it will get accessible that's mu that much quick it is as you can see very smooth the interface here in the evolution x little bit first thing i noticed whenever i flash this rom is the thickness of the font here you can see and even the widget whatever this icons those are also little bit thicker compared to previous session maybe because of fonts or whatever it is that is what i noticed whenever i flash certain rom i have some thing noticed before that has been changed here hence i am making in this video confirm and coming to benchmark results first starting with Android benchmark results as you can see 3 lakh 67,335 decent score but temperature raise was a little bit higher here 5.9 degrees celsius not a little bit a little bit more only here and three percentage of battery drop is also more i kept a little bit brightness higher maybe hence it's a little bit higher but anyhow the device is getting a little bit warmer in this particular rom that you need to keep in mind and coming to Geekbench results here also it is an healthy score I don't know why the multi score is limited here 1621 and single score is also 527 and the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.281 Dex K for X3 that's the kernel used here the scores not getting that much in Geekbench in particular ROMs I mean in custom ROMs only in MIUI based ROMs the Geekbench scores are going to be better in my opinion and coming into DRM info again here you get level 1 certification no problem watching in OTT application in HD resolution that's how it is and coming into some of the app settings like safety net status again it will get passed obviously you can use all the payment applications like Google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use them it's working fine no problem regarding that let's move into camera you won't get any pre-installed camera even google go camera is also not pre-installed here i am using this arnova build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports it it's up to you anx camera support very soon i am making video on that if it all it supports android 12 or 12.1 based roms i will be definitely making about the nx camera support too and this is a quick settings panel as i said before and now moving into settings this are the settings it took a two to three milliseconds to open the settings panel that i have noticed here and if you go into evolver you get plenty of customization regarding that i explained in 
many rounds you can check out many videos you can check out in my channel i directly move into miscellaneous and i want to show you this gaming space if you want you can enable from here you can change some of the settings here the important thing is you need to enable these three then only you get unlimited photo storage in google photos definitely it's available and high fps in games if you enable this you will get bgma up to 90 fps support is given only in the smooth and unlock high quality streams also you can check out here and some of the settings like show you you cpu information and usb configuration temperature warnings ignore windows secure flags you can enable or disable from here and this is the customization i explained in every rom just i need this thing let me go into evolver and into the themes dark theme you can keep dark theme but there is no option to keep pitch black let me show you yeah there is no option of keeping it in pitch black condition but it's still not in pitch black let me go into settings it's a little bit bluish type of available if it is in pitch black that would be better in my opinion let me disable the dark theme here okay okay access okay this is how the dark theme i have been disabled they would have been added that and accessibility menu is given here you can use the shortcut it is an handy feature i am keep on telling this some of them know it but some of them still they don't know how to enable accessibility menu in android custom roms and security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show the face unlock first and followed by fingerprint unlock you can see here let me see into the smartphone <laughs> okay it's get recognized you can see here it's very quick just make sure you add two or more examples of, of your face snaps then it will be easier to unlock even with fingerprint unlock also same thing add two or more then it will be very quicker it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone using both fingerprint unlock and face unlock that's how it is and let me come back again to settings here into accessibility and wallpaper sound style you get print of wallpapers here you can see here all the under tall based wallpapers are pre-included in this evolution x 6.5 omega july 1st build this is and internet connection is working fine and call i mean call connection during that no echo or anything in the microphone and even with headphone jack quality is also very fine in this rom into the display adaptive brightness let me show you let me turn off this light okay let me turn on as you can see it's working fine again i will turn on the light it will brighten up the screen that's how the always on the uh, sorry adaptive brightness is working fine coming to adaptive brightness also display colors i will show you you can enhance some of the colors here and app refresh rate per app you can choose from here lcd features I keep on telling this if you enable it to keep it like high and if you keep this one to high and if you play the BGMA definitely it going to be heated up a lot in this particular ROM you need to keep in mind and minimum maximum and low power refresh rate is kept as shown in the video and natural colors keep it boosted as saturated whatever you like those are the settings available here night light wallpaper zoom effect is given everything is given in this room in the display settings and regarding location security privacy everything is working fine here coming into system into the gestures quickly open camera is given quick tap to start actions one handed mode system ge navigation gesture navigation advanced gesture options are given here i need option like pill length pill radius and amount of screen i to use as a touchable region for back gesture these three are very important for three for me sorry and uh, this how it is the pill is visible now and it's thick enough that's really good if you don't want any pill there is an option like advanced gesture option no there is no option maybe that's how it is these are the customization and settings provided in this evolution x rom let me show you the bgma gameplay and make the verdict of this particular rom you can see here this is the bgma in evolution x 6.5 omega and graphic settings settings you can see a smooth plus 90 fps option is available controls let me enable this peak 
I'll jump into boot camp and show you and followed by this the TDM also I'll be showing you brightness I kept off the automatic brightness little bit lower and volume you can see here and there's the volume panel you get and ROM is encrypted and follow let me jump into the boot camp and see usually evolution x rom have very good gameplay and the performance but it depends on kernel also sometimes or even the version of evolution x oh no i opened in the <laughs> air itself and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like Me landing into boot camp i opened the parachute before itself let's see whether i get any kills or not the fps count option has been not given here i would have enabled that to show you for better but anyhow now currently in 90 fps someone roaming around he can capture me let me okay the sound is too much let me decrease I did not get any proper gun here And don't judge my gameplay i am setting in very different position it's not easy to play in this position just see the performance of this rom and how it handle the game whether it's making any glitch or anything like that that you need to keep in mind and check those things while i am playing bgmi everywhere these guns are available if i can get any ar again that's the power of dbs shotgun <laughs> maybe his teammate is coming oh got it with again same graphic settings you can see a smooth plus 90 fps only into the TDM now the experience with classic match it was fine enough but not bad also with 90 FS you can make it out differentiate between 45 and 90 and loudness is also quite good here smooth definitely playable not playable more than that and volume panel you can see here that's how it is share your experience guys with this rom previous versions and which version you found it better i also share my experience each and every time that's quite obvious but i can't run the rom too much you can give the better idea because you are running the same rom for lot more days that's how it is i will come back here and i'll show the charging animation the gameplay was fine enough and you can see a charging animation and will it support 33 watt charging it is showing charging slowly only what happened to these roms nowadays i kept the 33 charger 33 watt charger only but it's showing charging slowly again this rom is also 
not fast charging your smartphone you can see here clearly it's showing charging slowly only you are not 70 percent that's how it is fast charging is not supported in this particular rom if it is a deal breaker for you you can shift to any other roms or any previous version of evolution x you can try it out and these all the recent apps you get it's smooth not buttery smooth as rice dread or anything like that this how the evolution x 6.5 omega on poco x3 slash nfc use the firmware always while flashing don't make mistakes and have errors i don't like it if you face any problems so make it easy and have very good experience with this particular room it's fine enough to have as a daily driver with given options and everything customization is loaded here this is the verdict here thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now